understand AIS, we will examine a general model that describes an information system regardless of technological structure. This model will enable you to understand the origin of data, the stages before data become information, and how the process data, also called information, are communicated to users. This video highlights the seven elements of the general model for AIS. The end users, data sources, data collection, data processing, database management, information generation, and feedback. We will start with the element called data sources. Data sources are transactions that enter the information system from both internal and external sources. An example of a transaction from the internal source is the payroll of employees. Data from this transaction includes employee ID, employee name, salary, social security, tax identification, withholding deductions, and net pay. An example of external transaction is the purchase of goods from a vendor. Data from this transaction include a vendor ID, vendor name, order date, items ordered, quantity, total amount of purchases, delivery date, and shipping address. The next element is data collection. Data collection involves the actions and means to capture data from data sources. When capturing data, it should be valid, complete, and free from material errors prior entering into the system. The common methods of collecting data are the use of printed forms in a manual system and digital forms shown on computer screen in a computer-based system. For example, the use of bank payment slip is used to collect data from a client about a payment transaction. Another example is the payment form on a computer screen capturing data of a credit card payment. Data processing is the next element of the general model for AIS. Data processing is the second operational stage of AIS. The collected data undergo processing steps ranging from simple to complex. Examples of data processing steps are calculation of total number of data or amounts, sorting data alphabetically or numerically, posting data to accounting records and general ledger accounts, and summarization of data for accounting report. The next element is the database management. Database management is the systematic arrangement of data in the database. The database is the physical storage for financial and non-financial data. The data in the database follows a level of hierarchy. The levels of hierarchy are attribute, record, and file. Let's examine the levels of data hierarchy. A data attribute presents a characteristic of an entity about which a business organization collects data. A record is a group of related data attributes. A file is a group of related records. 
For better understanding, let's use the accounts receivable as an entity which a firm captures data. The AR subsidiary ledger represents the accounts receivable. The AR subsidiary ledger has the following attributes. Customer number, customer name, address, credit limit, and account balance. These attributes made up the AR subsidiary ledger. One AR subsidiary ledger represents one customer record. When AR subsidiary ledgers are grouped together, it forms a file. The next element of the AIS model is information generation. This element is the communication of information to users. It involves processes such as compilation, arranging, formatting, and presentation. The two common methods of communicating information in a business organization is through printed documents or reports and messages displayed on a computer screen. The next element in the AIS model is the end users. The end users are simply the users of generated information. There are two general groups of end users, the external users and internal users. Creditors, investors, and customers are examples of external users. Employees, supervisors, and managers are examples of internal users. The final element of the AIS model is feedback. Feedback is a form of output that is sent back to the system as a source of data. This means that feedback is collected, processed, stored in the database, and generated information about the actions done on the feedback is made. To illustrate, a customer receives a billing statement with incorrect information. The customer complains about the overcharging on the billing statement. The customer contacts the company about the issue. After investigation of the billing agent, the claim of the customer is valid. The billing agent informs the customer that revised billing statement will be sent to the customer within two to three business days. The feedback in this illustration is the billing statement with overcharged fee. To recap, the elements of the general model of AIS are data sources, data collection, data processing, database management, information generation, end users, and feedback. Click the video on the left screen for the next lesson.